Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the Rajaska Kasungura YouTube channel. Kaka, Senior Counsel James Orengo once said, Government eats its own people. Serekali inakula watu wake. Government eats its children. In the year 2021, I remember William Ruto visited Bishop Margaret Wanjiru's church with a brigade from UDA. Wanasiasa wengi wakaenda kwa ilo kanisa and they were going to welcome Bishop Margaret Wanjiru to the UDA team. At this time, Margaret had made a decision of contesting for the Nairobi gubernatorial seat, that is the governorship. After welcoming her, they also went to another church in a different Sunday. And I heard Bishop Margaret Wanjiro herself saying the following. Round he kanisa Musikae mbali na siyasa za Kenya. That's what she said. Aka elelea kusema, Proverbs 21.2 says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. She said, it's time Kenya to rejoice. Why? Ruto is a Christian just like them. Haka enelea kusema atiruto hana hangova kama huru kenyata. So there are points I want to note from this speech. Point number one, kanisa ikue kwa siyasa this time round. That was the 2022 general election. Number two, ruto is a righteous man. And once he gets into power, the people will rejoice. I hope you are rejoicing. Before I proceed, can we listen to what Margaret Wanjiru said that time? And this is her video clip. Upande wa siyasa, mimi mama Bishop Margaret Wanjiru, nimerudi kwa wanja, ninaania kiti cha governor wa Nairobi. Sisi kama kanisa, ningependa kuwa si kanisa tusikae mbali safari hii na siyasa ya Kenya. Proverbs 29.2 says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. It is time for Nairobi to rejoice, and it is time for Kenya to rejoice. It makes me very happy that I can stand and preach, that I can stand and campaign with my deputy president because he's a Christian like me. That we don't have to go somewhere and sit around and wait. Kwanza amalize hangover, ndiyo akuje kanisa. Apa na uyu wetu hananga hangover. Ah, uyu wetu hananga hangovers. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uyu wetu hananga hangovers. Bless the name of the Lord. And we thank God for his life. We thank God for his family. We thank God that we can talk the Bible, we can talk the scriptures as we serve God and as we serve Kenyans. Kaka unasikia vile huyu Bishop anasema. Eh, umesikia vile ametaja vizuri. Now, mimi niliwaonya kuhusu hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Nikasema kama kuna serikali itageukea watu wake ni Kenya kwanza. Hasla kwanza ndio mtaumia. Number two, those politicians who supported Kenya Kwanza government. Bishop Margaret Ali support UDA paka mwisho. Sasa kanisa laka limebomolewa. Kenya Kwanza serikali imeenda imebomoa kanisa laka Nairobi CBD. Sasa Margaret Wanjiru is rejoicing because the righteous man Ruto 
is an authority. Kanisa la Bishop Margaret lime bomolewa. I hope yeye atakuwa karibu na siyasa kwa sababu ruto hana hangover. Kaka, I'm not laughing, but I remember the warnings I gave these people. Margaret ali supporti ruto. Kabisa, akampigia kampeni le mpaya. Sasa analilia chooni. Margaret is in tears. Margaret is crying for Ruto. Ruto kwa nini umetenda haya? Ruto kwa nini umefanya hili? Ruto kwa nini umenibomolea kanisa? Ruto kwa nini? Ulisema when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Hata wakati kanisa lako linabomolewa, I expect you to rejoice. Vila ulitusomea Proverbs 29 verse 2. Bishop, rejoice. Even when the church is being demolished. Why? The righteous are in authority. Hata wakati unanyanganyo kanisa Margaret. I expect you to rejoice. Kwa nini? The one in authority. Yeye hana hangovers. Huyo ndiyo mulikuwa muna itachi. Huyo ndiyo muliria. Huyo ndiyo muli support. Sasa mami. Funika mudomo, enda tafuta Ruto State House. Sisi ukitulidia hapa kwa media, hatuta kusaidia. We have no help. Ruto, you can call him, he's a phone call away. Hata chukua simu yako. Badala ya kutulidia hapa, atiyo, nye, 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 nye. Chukua simu, pigia Ruto, muulise mudosi, bono na bomoa kanisa langu, na niliku support. Sisi ukitulidia hapa, sisi ni wanainchi, atuna musaada. Uli support Ruto. Mulikuwa munaongea kwa simu. Stay thousand ya hapo tu you can even walk. Please. Wacha kierere kwa media. Kama pasta mwenzako amekubomwalea kanisa. Vile uli mutafuta wakati wa campaign. Na sasa tafadhali mutafute endeni sort you. I hope. Mimi nilitani muliambiwa mapastas hamufungi with stay thousand. Kwani what happened? What went wrong? Si muliambiwa nyinyi moraba shika raba sanda mukienda pale mukiongea kwa ndimi watchman anaanguka na anawacha geti kifunguka mnaingia what happened Margaret ni nini nilifanyika mami what happened tini <laughs> nilifanyika mami eh sisi ukitulilia hatuna busaada sisi hata ukiria tuwezi rudisha kanisa sisi hata ukitulilia hiyo turaki tapana simamisa sisi ni wajande mutosi yuko state house kimbia apia hii enda ji introduce ya mini bishop tuliambiwa state house ya ifungwi nataka kuongea na mutosi enda tafadhali onge you should not even comment on you should not even post wakati uliko na msapoti sisi hatuku kuwako zaza umeanza kulilia wa kenya ati kwa nini ruta nabamua kanisa lako shemo nini kukiliga na kutuharibia mali yetu wameharibu viku zetu wametunyang'anya masimu wametuumiza ile kabisa sasa mimi nataka kusema hivi hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza ndio tulipigania i'm one of the chief campaign campaigners of Kenya kwanza government i'm among the very first people that started selling and campaigning for his excellency William Ruto truly i wasn't campaigning to be repaid like this I wasn't campaigning for land grabbers to come and start claiming that our church properties are their properties. We cannot lose properties in this country. Na wame ni wengi, wamekuja wanasema ni NIS, wengine wanasema ni DCIO, wengine ni police ni wengi. So definitely government is involved and it is it is sad. Very sad that this is the government that we campaigned for. I'm yet to believe that they can do this to me. I'm the one who sold Kenya Kwanza UDA in Nairobi County. I'm the one who gave them a platform. Leave alone that. I'm the one who gave them a vision for Nairobi. And today, look at what we are suffering. Ukingia ukundari kumeja polisi and they are all armed. Wame tunanganya vitu zetu, wame chukua simu, wame tupiga. Me, I have to go to hospital. Sae, ni mekunyo peini kila asingyo nifike hapa. So I have to rush to hospital. Kujaribu kuona vile nitatipiwa miguu na mikono. 
Pengine it is sad. It is very very sad. Pengine tumeanzisha kuweza tueleza wamekubainia kiini hasa cha kuwa. Hapana hakuna mtu anatuambia wanafanya nini wanasema tu wametumwa na MD wa railways. Na MD wa railways ajue. Hapo hakuna property ya railways. Na MD wa railways ajue. Kuna Mungu mbinguni. Bila mnazemanga nyinyi kwa serikali kuna Mungu mbinguni hata kwetu kwa makanisa kuna Mungu mbinguni if anybody in Kenya kwanza government can dare touch my properties je na wale raia wenye hawana mtu wa kuwasaidia wale raia wenye hawana mwenyewe if Jesus is a life ministry is under attack today how about the common mwananchi tutahamia wapi tutaenda wapi serikali yetu yenyewe ndio inatupiga where are we going to go where are we going to run mimi mwenyewe nimesalimia watu wa DCIO hapa nikawaambia karibuni mtu wakole kumbe they are coming to reinforce their NIS brothers alafu wakaitata wengine so you can really see tumefika place where rest sisi ndio hatuna mtu wa kutusaidia kama mahali ya kukimbia lakini kuna Mungu mbinguni acha tuone wamebomoa huko nyuma kuna ukuta wanabomoa huko hata saa hii waimesimamiwa wanabomoa wamebomoa wabomea huko na walikuwa wamekuja tena tarehe kumi mwezi wa februari wakaanza kubomoa from hapa from the start sasa nasi tulikuwa na harusi kanisa ilikuwa imejaa watu the wall that you are mentioning in the bishop is it the same wall that you moved yes it is the... it is the same wall and it is the same wall that they had demolished actually demolished my wall to put their wall so now they are coming to demolish again and it is because the court case is coming up so they are trying to protect themselves ati wajafunga jia unajua jaji hapo ya kuona amerudi nini so they are coming out they are trying to cover up themselves which one to one hata bikuni kuna sheria wacha duniani hata bikuni kuna sheria hey guys i have to go to i have to go to hospital mheshimiwa mwago is here with us so nimekuja hapa leo hii attack ni hapa hapa Kiambu. I've been a member of this church to Kaliko Protokdo and there have never been any land issue. Na tuipangi mali ya watu sisi. Ni wenye na kama nilikuja kama mbunge to find out the truth. These guys have come invaded this place. Hawana any court order, hawana any eviction, they have nothing. They are just claiming they are from orders from above. And it is good that they have admitted there is a force behind it. MP Mainga is a person that ofisi yake kwa hapa less than 200 meters ni mtu mwenye anajua bishop kwa a very long time alikuwa anafaa kuja hapa atuambie kinaganaga atuambie but you can see there is another force yenye iko nyuma yenye anataka kugrabisha mbaye yake kwa hapa and there's nothing short of that kwa sababu huwezi ingia kwa shamba ya mtu bila ene na hii kuna kesi hadi kotini even the respect for the rule of law it is lacking in this administration ili ile serikali yenye sisi tulisema ndo na matokeo yake and you can see what they are doing If you're pressing even their biggest campaigners, you can only imagine what they are doing with us, with their taxes and everything. Anu watu wenye wana uruma na sisi. Na sisi tunasema hivi. Kama mtu amefika mahali mpaka na grab shamba ya kanisa, that's not a human being. And we are going to deal with them kwa sababu hii Kenya pia inatawaliwa na sheria. Na wewe tuambia there's nobody above the law. We are not going to take this like down, we are going to take get to the bottom of this matter. Kwa sababu tukubali hii na sasa wale wanyonge. Eh hey, wale hawana mtu wa kutetea. Hey, hii kanisa nyinyi wote mnajua imekuwa hapa kwa miaka mingi sana. Kama sasa hivi wameanza ku invade hapa. Na sasa wakianza kutafuta wale watu wengine. Can Sisi hatutakubali. You could maybe elaborate and make it clear. Is the church on leave? Is no, it no, on no. rent? No no no. no. What is the church? We have our title deeds my dear. This is our property we bought. We have title deeds. We have not debt we own no man. That property is ours. This is property is ours. We even have a proposal yes. to build a twin tower. Yes. From the county government, from all the, the, the our property is even under construction yeah. as it is. You can see this is under construction. Yes. We are building a twin tower that is good. So it's something that we may approve by all state agencies. So Imam ya kugrab chamba not to bali. Na hii ni kitu yenye tutapiga nao kwa court, tutapiga nao kwa kanisa hadi tupate our right. Alikoraona wao ishi rato watu na nilele ganya to ikwera ya rato. Ni adi dashi ya muno kira rushinya. Eshi ni ebo kako kutia kanisa yako. Kana buroti ikiganya kanisa yako. Ni dashi ni ogwo kwa yama. Atero ni wadiri kari ato aka peine ile utuko na mudanya to kehutira mbesha chito. Ni wari wira to tunya ido chito. Ni wira to tunya buroti chito. For real. Kona dinete kia. Kona ngago etoro ya marenda. Kona ibere kwa sheria ndiki wa Kenya kuna sheria katika hii. So let us fight it out legally. 
Wana vile wanasema, wata tuambia hapa, kuna pati ya rally ni gani? Hapa kuna property ya rally ya ruga lehi. Mbaruga lehi ni ya investors wenye wame jinumulia property zaka. What is the next move? Have they given you a budget? Have they come in no. back? Have they, they, they have not said anything. No, they have not said anything. They have actually pushed us by beating us. Kwa vya mku, I have to go to hospital. They've broken our legs, they've broken our hands, they've taken our phones, they've taken our money, they've taken our car keys. Even as it is, I have to look for support to take me to hospital. They will take our khakis. Were you given notice that they will no, be coming to me? No, notice, no court order, nothing, absolutely nothing. Ile ukora proper ya land grabbing. Lakini mesmamua na nani? Na maaskari. So you can imagine.